I owe you one. They dropped the case against me. I went to my dad, you kicked seven bells out of me. Your merger's safe. But next time... There's not going to be a next time. You watched the live stream of my little sister's bedroom. You're a pervert. Don't push me. There's free booze. Thanks. How long do you think we have to stay here for? Just until James does his stupid speech. Well, you look beautiful. You too. <laughs> You're thinking about him watching us, aren't you? I'm thinking about them all watching us. One and all, if I may. <clears throat> I uh, just wanted to make a little speech to thank all the medical staff who are here with us this evening. Hey. Uh, including one who is positively rolling in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a research grant. <laughs> <laughs> now, over the past two years, We've all seen how important medicine is. But doctors aren't the only frontline heroes who have been working tirelessly through this pandemic. We at D Valley Law, soon to be D Valley Brinecroft, have actually sponsored this little event. Mr. Nightingale, can I speak to you outside, please? <laughs> it isn't DS trouser suit. Now, if you find yourself on the wrong side of Miss Cohen over there, do feel free to give us a call. Mr. Nightingale. Now, I'm uh, making a speech. Right, that's it. Mr. Nightingale, I'm arresting you on suspicion <laughs> of <laughs> common <laughs> assault. Is this Mike? If it is, I was protecting my sister and her girlfriend from that internet pervert. Stop filming! If Bramcroft sees this, James could cost us the merger. 